Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel Christine's Cards and Things. Today I'm coming to share with you uh, a collaboration that I'm doing with Kate from Cards by Kate Fletcher and Roz of Crafty Mama Paper Craft where we have taken the gift pack, uh, so the um, subscribers gift pack from Hunky Dory which came out I think in, in December and it was all bear related. Um, if you want to see the, the full um, pack, then Kate has a, a video of it. Um, but the idea is to take one of these um, uh, sheets, which has all the card making elements on it, uh, with the toppers and things, and then two sheets of card, and to see how many card, well, to see what cards we come up with, and also uh, to make sure that we use everything that is in this thing so that we're kind of stash busting at the same time. So unfortunately I haven't got a video of the uh, of the um, kit that we're using this time but it's all Valentine's theme but it's along the same lines as this. So um, put that to one side So, and I'm going to show you the cards that I have made using the, the Valentine's kit. So, first of all, I made this card. So this is mounted on pink card and it's a, a narrow card. Um, and this was just uh, a piece of the printed card base, which I cut to size and added this sentiment, which is sending all my love. Um, then the next one, was um, this, I cut down some of the card base. Uh, um, I think it was, the, yeah, it's the same card base as this one was on. And I just um, stuck this topper on and the sentiment for my sweetheart on our anniversary. And then I've just inked around the edges of this one with, I think it was, um, candied apple distress ink. So that, that was just to help it all to blend together. So that's that one. And then um, with this one, this was a topper from the, from the kit. And no, I beg your pardon. No, this was from the other piece of paper. That, and this was the image that was printed on the other piece of card rather. So I've cut it around it. And I've just mounted it on a six by six card and I just used some paper from my stash as a background for that one. I haven't put a sentiment on this one um, because they actually there weren't that many sentiments with the with the kit. Then um, this one, I had this card base, which has got a square window in it. So I've put this this topper here as, as the background um, so that you can see it when you look at the card and then I've just put a piece of the background card stock here and then sentiment to someone very special and put these two little circles with hearts in the middle down there so that's that one and um, and then there were these um, circles and small images really so I decided with this one just to keep it very plain and simple. So I've used some of the cardstock here as a backing and then I've just stuck them as a series here. And then these three kind of go together because they, they're kind of telling a story. So the top one is bringing his heart. He's exchanging it with the middle one and then, then the middle one has taken it. So, so that was quite sweet. Again, I haven't got a sentiment for that one yet. And then this one. This one was using uh, some of the background card. I've mounted it onto gold Miri card to match the gold of the frame of this square image. So here they are giving each other a hug. And there was quite a lot of bunting as part of the elements of this particular sheet. So I've just put three pieces of bunting here and be mine. And then the last card that I made, so I was really scraping the barrel here um, because it was, um, you know, I was running out of ideas. I'm really scraping the barrel. So here I've made an A6 card. Uh, this was the last image that I had. 
So I put it there. I used the again. I used a piece of the background um, cardstock, and I've layered up some of the bunting at the top. So those were all the cards, but I still had some um, some of the bunting left over, and I still had some of the cardstock left over. So I've made a tag. So this tag I've just I've used um, a piece of one of the background, one of the card stocks, and I've added two little strips of the other one, and then I've just put the bunting like that, um, and put some ribbon in the top of the tag. So that's the tag, and I still had some card stock left over. So I thought, well, I've got to use everything, so use everything I will. So I had these two shapes. So I had this shape and this shape of the pink. So and then the, the contrasting um, paper I had just some little little strips left. So I've made this one with some banners at the top. So this can be used in a, in a card in a future project or I can use it as a topper in some other card um, that it's ready to use. And then this one was really, really scraping the barrel. So I had two little strips of this um, heart, one left. So I put two corners and then this um, kind of like a banner there. So that is it. I have used, I have used absolutely every last piece from this kit. And these are my makes. So um, do go over and see what Roz and Kate have made. I'm sure everybody's style will be very different. Um, but these are all the way. I think, you know, it's been very good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards, one tag and two, um, two bottoms for toppers, shall we say. Um, I think that's not bad. You know, this, the, the members kit, that's what it's called. It's not scribers, members kit. Um, it costs it's free to members and you just pay two ninety nine for the postage. You always get eight um, pieces of cardstock, A4, and then four of the uh, toppers, which match the cardstock. And it's really good value considering I've made seven cards out of just one and it costs £2.99. Just, you just pay the postage. Excuse me. Um... I think it's really good value. They've just brought out, Hunky Dory have just brought out the next issue of the um, members free gift. It doesn't cost you anything to be a member. You just go over to their website and subscribe. Um, and I have to say, I am not sponsored by Hunky Dory to, to um, produce this video. Um, everything has been bought with my own money and uh, I haven't even told them that we're doing this collaboration. But... Um, you just go over, you subscribe, and you automatically then get the emails. And then when you go onto the website, you have this possibility of buying the the subscribe the members gift. Um, and you can you also get discount on others of their products. So if you like the hunky dory style of things, it's well worth being a member, um, because yeah, you can get some really good things. I am saying that I'm not going to be buying the current um, gift because the images really are not my style. It's all about with um, bottles of wine and things like that. And I would find it really difficult to use those papers. Um, so, yeah, so you can pick and choose. You don't have to always buy. So thank you all for watching. Um, we are putting up these videos on the last sun Saturday or Sunday, can't remember anyway, the last weekend of each month. So this is the one for January, and I'll see you all again in February with the next one. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.